Don't get serious. Hey guys, what's up? It's Salem Fury, and today I'm going to be in Salem. We're here with Rain's grandpa, Carl, and today we're going to be asking Carl a couple of questions about modern street slang. We're going to see exactly what he thinks some of the modern terms of 2019 mean. So let's get this started. So the first term we're going to start off with here is, let's see, okay, so the first term we're going to start off with is salty. Salty. But no explanation along the way. Uh, salty means you're directing yourself over to food, or it's just a salty day, which means it's a cloudy, humid day. The salty is not clear. That's not bad. That's not bad. Yeah, actually, salty actually refers to um, something similar. It, uh, the definition of the word refers to something witty, racy, coarse, and humorous, um, and anything in relation to bitter behavior. So if someone's salty, they're most likely upset and not feeling very fond of you. Um, uh, yeah, but not so much that is, is the weather is gloomy, so he's, he's salty, he's not excited today about the weather, he's kind of gloomy, you know, and he's asking you, what do we do next to cheer ourselves up, uh, to forget about the weather and do something indoors. Play games, go to the casino, have lobster, crab, or whatever, and have a good time, and play the penny machines with pennies instead of dollars, <laughs> like everybody else does. There you go. And we'll have a good time. And what, what are we going to lose? We're going to lose 10 to $15. And we'll, that'll take us all through three to four hours of playing before you should lose that much money from where we play. And if you do, that means you've won. And the last time I was up to the casino three days ago, I took a $10 bill, and when I left, I had a $10 bill. Right. I could play him for four hours. So he wasn't something. <laughs> That's the question. That's the one you should... Do you love yourself sometimes? Yeah, I like that definition of salty a lot. Right? Okay, so the next word we're going to do... What part of life do you want to learn about next? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. So the next word... Um, we're going to do is woke. W-O-K-E. Woke. Definition on what the this woke. Someone uses the term that they are woke. What do you think that means? They're flustered, out of control, ready to beat their girlfriend up for not doing what she's supposed to do. We don't advocate domestic violence, guys, I promise. Seriously, not funny. But she didn't run the camera right. <laughs> inferiority, inferiority, a little uh, complex, and so she shut the button off so it wouldn't, <laughs> wouldn't be recorded. And she says, "Oh, I'm leaving this." <laughs> other words, other words, his manners were really gross. <laughs> I didn't see it again. I hit the back. So, what is true and what is false? True so or false question. So the modern definition of woke is in terms of if you've kept up with the latest political headlines and you're not afraid to have an opinion against the uh, the, party. the current political views that are out there right now, then most people 
these days would say that we all love Trump. you're likely woke. You're seeing things for what they really are. You see past the smoke and the Yes. So. That means Trump is beautiful. <laughs> this is... <laughs> this is how yes. millennials are oh, God. It these days. He's the best. Stop! You're gonna get us hate. Be quiet. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Nobody likes that old turkey. Who's not in this program? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so our next term is gonna be... Uh, if someone were to tell you, show me some receipts. After... So you made... Uh, you made a claim or a statement about something, and someone says, show me some receipts. What do you think that means? Well, for one thing, prove what you're saying. Show me your receipts. Show me where the <laughs> proof is. He got it right! <laughs> Spitting from your mouth is the truth. Or you just don't like Mr. Trump. <laughs> Winner, winner, chicken dinner for all you 90s babies. A little throwback phrase there. There you go. He nailed it right on the head. That's exactly in millennial terms what receipts <laughs> means. They want you to prove right, exactly what, you, what, what the hell you're saying. They yeah. want you to prove it. So, yeah, he nailed that one right on the head. Uh, let's see. Um, got the whole cyclopedia in there. See it now? Okay, here we go. I got it. So, these days, millennials also like to use the term slay. S-L-A-Y. Slay. Yeah. So, if they slayed something, what do you think it means? Well, I like that person, but I just got tired of him and I slayed him. Because <laughs> they slayed the dragon, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Take it with a grain of salt. Take it with a grain of salt. <laughs> Make your own deposition. That's okay, so... Close? Well, I wouldn't say close. Actually, no cigar here, but... Um, no cigar here. No cigar here. So what I don't smoke anyway. <laughs> so what slay actually means in millennial terms these days is when something is done exceptionally well. So if I performed a cover of... Um, Elvis's hound dog and I did it just phenomenally well. A millennial is most likely to say that I slayed that performance. I was just on top of it. So well, that was a millennial if definition that was of slay. In the pretense, we never knew what you was talking about. <laughs> I did this to that performance. Was it good or was it bad? I slayed that. That's the thing that was good. I thought it was good. My girlfriend thought it was lousy. <laughs> That's a matter of opinion. That's a matter of opinion. Okay, so how about this one? Yep. Uh, clock. If someone's clock, what do you think it means? Somebody's clock? If somebody's clock, what do you think it means? What time it is? <laughs> so time. I'll tell you, it's, uh, it says on your clock over there, it's about. Real fine. Uh, so, in millennial terms, in millennial terms, Is this that's, a twilight that's, zone or that's what? the uh, millennials are the youth of today, more or less. So, in millennial terms, if someone is clocked, so if someone is clocked, they got clocked. And basically, they're they're just, bah, yeah, they just they just they just got cracked really hard. Yeah, yeah pretty much. They're just they just got taken. The floor. They just got taken you know, out. Like Felix the cat. <laughs> When they hit it, he just disintegrated. Pretty much, they just got taken out, is what it means. Um, so, let's see. The new English language. Hmm. <laughs> oh, this one should, uh, this one should be fine. 
So uh, if someone says that, in, okay, so in millennial terms, oftentimes with certain things, they have a habit of saying that they're dead. Now, what do you think that it means when a millennial says that they're dead? They're dead. Yeah, they're dead. It means I do not know how to solve the problem. I might as well be dead because I can't figure it out. <laughs> I can see it being used that way, actually. It makes a little more sense that way. I'm just dead to the world. I can't figure it out. <laughs> so what do I do when I'm hurt? I back up and I cancel all my apartments. He's right. Well, that's what I did to the road. I told him to take that so much each other. These are these aren't bad definitions. These are more sensible definitions than what you know. Well, that's the truth. I'm waiting for you to take it off right now. I think. And I say you millennials because I was a nineties baby and I regardless of what you all say in the comments, I'm very indifferent to the modern generation and the modern culture, so I don't consider myself part of that. So but how many brothers and how many sisters you got? Two sisters. In millennial terms, when they say that they are dead, it's often describing something funny or ridiculously good, and it's forced you to be hyperbolic. So, for instance, Look. you know, did you see... Uh, did you see that rerun of Eddie Murphy Raw last night? I'm dead. Basically, it was just that funny. It was so just hilariously funny. They just, they're dead. Laugh, you know, we just laugh to death, so. You don't sound funny. Huh? <laughs> if you're dead, you're dead a long time. So you can't bring the subject back up again because you said you're dead. So you can't. <laughs> Revise it and say, "Well, I was really didn't mean it. I was only half-assed dead." <laughs> half-assed. Are you taking notes, millennials? You see, this is sensible wisdom right here. Next term. This is a good one. Millennials often use this term to uh, describe a significant other, but we'll see what you think this acronym means, this phrase acronym means, the, the term is BAE, B-A-E, BAE, if someone says, that's my BAE, what do you think that means? That's your BAE? She's BAE, she's BAE, she's BAE, B-A-E, that's how the millennial is, yeah. she's BAE. Insinuating she's bad or easy. I was trying to get a clear view of what he's trying to say. And so many words of English turn backwards or whatever. So, again, the term bay is often used to describe, um, well, when millennials use it, it's often used to describe a significant other, uh, someone's sweetheart or their baby, and it's an acronym that actually stands for before anyone else, B-A-E, Bay, before anyone else. That person is before anyone else. They come before anyone else because they are my babe. Your significant other. They're your what babe. The what it really is, means? That's my babe. Don't fool with her or you'll get shot. What it really means? If you look it up, it means poop. Yeah. Poop? If you look it up in, I believe, the Webster's Dictionary or an actual um, so that just educationally poop? approved dictionary. <laughs> Sorry, millennials, but the, whether you like it or not, I'm sure everyone knows this by now because that was dropped a couple of years ago. But once again, the real term of they means chick. chick. So and essentially, in your mind, you might think you're saying before anyone else, 
maybe on the internet. Now you maybe know what to go. Oh. Yeah, that's my shit right there. Yeah. <laughs> so we got we got an OG right here to tell you. <laughs> we got an OG right here to tell you with all of their wisdom that without a doubt the true definition of bay is shit. So just keep that in mind, millennials. You're calling your girlfriend shit. Or <laughs> your boyfriend. See in the old days the old days they call them that's my babe, that's my baby, that's my babe. Mm -hmm. and I kept making it shorter and they turned it into poop. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Well, here's a good term. Uh, the term is GOAT. So these days, oftentimes, a sports player or a rapper, in millennial terms, will get referred to as a GOAT. Uh, some of the best football players that are in the Hall of Fame now have been referred to as GOATs, as well as some of the best rappers that are now in the Music or Hall of Fame. Oh. Um, the rock and that means superior, very talented, the best, the best of the best, a winner. Yeah. I'd say that's another nail on the head for that one. Um, GOAT actually stands for greatest of all time. So it's an acronym that was made up a few years back and it's smacked on to anybody who is the best of the best of their trade. They're the greatest of all time. So that was, that was kind of an easy one. We're reaching the, uh, starting to reach the uh, end of our list here. Um, I think this one is a uh, real good term here little hint hint right there. Um, this term is often used in a lot of hip-hop culture, hip-hop songs, and the term is Gucci. So you might hear a youngster say, you know, ah, oh, you know, these clothes are so Gucci, man. Everything is Gucci. So what do you think they're referring to when they say that? Male or female? <laughs> uh, it can be both, male or female. Uh, sexy. Sexy, okay. So, really slick, really good looking. Really clothes made the woman, through the man. <laughs> really looks good. Mm, pretty. His, his hat is on straight, and that's it. Pretty accurate description. This was a big money show. I thought it was wonderful. And I think the, the what, the announcer got a beautiful job, and it was really great. <laughs> <laughs> sure to like and subscribe, guys. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and be sure to hit that notification bell. You think this is water? This was gin. I couldn't take him any longer. I had to have my gin. <laughs>